Congressman Joe Kennedy is of that Kennedy family. Uh, he's the grandson of Bobby Kennedy, obviously related to John F. Kennedy. He ran for Congress and won very easily in 2013. I believe this country was founded on a simple idea, that every person deserves to be treated fairly. And here he is trying to elbow his way into the Senate by challenging Markey in what is kind of an unexpected situation. Senator Markey is a senator from Massachusetts. He got elected in 2013. He's running for his first re-election, uh, finishing up his first term. He's not really a bold name in the Senate. He tends to work under the radar. In Massachusetts, Kennedy's going to have a hard time making Markey seem not progressive enough. He's endorsed by Ocasio-Cortez. Elizabeth Warren has endorsed him. He has a long list of stuff he works on on liberal causes. Uh, he and Kennedy generally see eye to eye on a lot of the things. It's not common for members of Congress to just challenge incumbent senators. Uh, it's generally a kind of wait your turn situation. Uh, so what Kennedy is doing is unusual, but there's an inevitable generation divide that's framing this race and potentially could frame the way he runs this race. Kennedy's 38. Uh, he has two young kids, age three and one. Markey is 73. He's been in Congress longer than Kennedy has been alive. I'm tired of watching people suffer while politicians make their backroom deals. Ideologically, there's not a lot that's different. Just by nature of having the last name Kennedy, I think voters look at Joe Kennedy and think, okay, he's a Democrat, you know, he's liberal, he's going to support our causes. We don't need to question how democratic he is, which is an important thing in a state like Massachusetts that is one of the most democratic states in the nation. That being said, Markey has a lot in his column uh, to tout himself as like the most progressive candidate. People on both sides of this, whether you side with Markey or Kennedy, question why he's getting in right now. There's not really a clear answer. Kennedy probably looked at the Senate in Massachusetts and the line of people waiting for, for these higher offices and said, it's just now or never. I might as well try to elbow my way in. So the Democratic Party is super excited to have Joe Kennedy as a national figure. They had him give the Democratic response to President Trump's first State of the Union. And this nagging, sinking feeling, no matter your political beliefs, that this is not right. This is not who we are. Uh, there's obviously a sense of star power to him and his last name. Uh, he's had viral moments on the House floor before. To the thousands of brave transgender men and women serving today in uniform, please know that a grateful nation does not take your service, your patriotism, for granted. However, it's not clear like where Kennedy fits into the Democratic Party's overall strategy of elevating its star members, this Massachusetts Senate primary isn't going to change the balance of power in the Senate. Whoever wins this primary is almost certainly going to be the next senator from Massachusetts. But it, it's an interesting data point in the Democratic Party's broader debate about generational divides and, and whether we're at a moment where the older, more experienced members need to step aside for the younger ones.